Well, let me go ahead and pick a fight with Brex because that's <laughs> what they need is some like nobody that nobody cares about calling them out for their bullshit, right? Um, Brex did <laughs> not start solving small businesses. Brex was a VR company that could give a shit about small businesses, but wanted to make it as a VR company and Y Combinator and their company wasn't working. And so they, you know, started this card company saying like, oh, we can't believe we can't get a card. Um, we have all this funding. Um, and then if you really look at Brex's history, they've always underwritten based on cash flow and like multiples of cash flow with a minimum cash flow requirement of $50,000 in your bank account, which every small business owner listening to this is laughing at right yeah. now, because that's not a thing. And then two years ago, they started doing venture debt. So the, the argument that's out there right now that Brex um, less small business because it's not economical and stuff, I would argue that Brex never really wanted to serve small businesses. They got almost all of their early customers through their Y Combinator connections based. They have a whole team underwriting based on term sheets. And, and it's really annoying to me, right? Because they're putting this like bad name on serving small businesses, which we need so many companies right now looking for ways to serve small businesses. So the impact of their super dumb tech crunch release is very annoying to me, as you can tell, <laughs> um, because these businesses are totally servable. They're literally the backbone of our country. Yeah. They employ way more people than any tech company or big corporate does.